U.S. officials expected outrage after the killing of 16 civilians by American soldiers in Afghanistan, and they are seeing it this morning. So are Afghan government officials who were attacked this morning at the scene of that massacre. And there are other protests as well. Mandy Clark is in Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan, this morning. Mandy, good morning. Good morning. Dozens of people in Kandahar held a religious service in memory of the shooting victims. And around 1,000 students in eastern Afghanistan gathered to voice their anger over the killings. Burning an effigy of President Obama and chanting death to America. The protesters in the eastern city of Jalalabad demanded the U.S. soldier responsible for killing 16 civilians face a public trial in Afghanistan. We don't want a strategic partnership with foreign troops, the student said. The protesters also called for American troops to leave Afghanistan now, describing them as tyrants and crusaders. It's the first significant protest in reaction to the shooting attack. The Taliban has issued another threat to U.S. forces. In a statement, the insurgent group said, the Islamic Emirate once again warns the American animals that the Mujahideen will avenge them and with the help of Allah will kill and behead your sadistic, murderous soldiers. Today, militants ambushed an Afghan delegation that was visiting the scene of the attack. Gunfire came from two different directions, killing an Afghan soldier and wounding two others. Mandy, thank you very much.